Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testprepinsight.com, and today I'm gonna to be doing a mini review of sorts on the Prep 101 MCAT course. Prep 101 has kind of come out of nowhere in the last year or two to become one of my favorite and top rated MCAT courses out there. So today I wanna to talk about who it might be best for and who might find better value elsewhere. And by the way, since I'm just gonna be hitting the high level points today in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of this course over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Prep 101 MCAT. It's a quick way to find it. All right, so let's get right into it and talk about the reasons why I think Prep 101 is worth it and who it might be best for. So number one, the thoroughness of this course. The Prep 101 MCAT package is definitely one of the deepest and most comprehensive courses that we've reviewed to date. Now, quantity alone doesn't really mean too much. There are definitely other courses out there that have even more material than Prep 101, but we don't necessarily rate them out highly. To me, it's more about this depth plus quality plus the structure. And I think Prep 101 has really nailed it on all those fronts. You get live classes, on-demand videos, prep books, a boatload of high quality practice work, and everything else that you would expect from a tier one MCAT program. And they've put all this together in a really intensive, efficient format. So that's number one, I guess, the depth and comprehensiveness of this course. We were just super impressed. Okay, so another pro for Prep 101 is the structure of their live classes. So Prep 101 uses this really classic framework for their live classes. There are three live classes each week, and for every class, you get assigned reading and practice questions before class, then the actual live class with lecture and guided practice work, and then you do assigned homework post-class. It's a pretty classic and effective method, just like you're used to from college, albeit probably on a slightly more intense level. Some other MCAT courses just hit you with class and no pre or post work, and that kind of drives me crazy. I personally think spaced review is really important, so the warm up class and then review sequence is really important and effective. Okay, a quick number three, but I really like the value of this MCAT course from Prep 101. Pricing of some other MCAT courses has gotten out of control these days with costs going north of $5,000. It's like they just used inflation as an excuse to jack up their prices. So I like that Prep 101 offers one course format at one pretty reasonable price, $2,300. And I know that might sound expensive, but relative to Altius, Kaplan, and Princeton Review, it's actually a shockingly good value. Those courses all have options well above five grand. Plus, it's definitely worth mentioning that Prep 101 does sometimes run special sales and promotions too, and you can snag a discount of $100 to $200 on the SEMCAT course, so make sure to check for coupon codes before buying. In fact, I'll do my best to keep the description down below the video screen updated with the most current discount codes out there, so make sure to check that out and save yourself some coin if Prep 101 does end up being a good fit for you. Anyway, after value, my fourth reason to go with Prep 101 is their bundle of practice work. Basically, it's just a very high quality set of resources and one of the better bundles that we've seen for the price. In total, you get over 1,200 practice passages and 8,000 plus total practice questions. I'll throw all of the different practice resources up on the screen here that come with this package, but it's a very solid grouping, especially the Altius exams and the exam cracker materials. When you're studying for the MCAT, doing practice work under exam-like conditions with realistic materials is a huge factor in score success, so I really like what Prep 101 has put together here. All right, so last pro here, number five, is that I really like the Prep 101 instructors. MCAT instructors are super hit and miss, but it seems like Prep 101 is hit with most of their teachers. All of their instructors know their stuff inside and out from a substantive perspective and are great communicators as well. They're very easy to follow along with and listen to, they're realistic about expectations, and they're willing to go with the flow of the class to make sure everything goes smoothly. Basically, I was just a big fan of their core group of instructors. All right, so that covers my reasons to go with Prep 101. Now let's flip sides and talk about the reasons not to. But before I hit you with that, I do just wanna mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple and letter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to enter, but just know that it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free course from Prep 101. Okay, so those reasons not to go with Prep 101. So one of the things I mentioned a minute ago was that this course is intense. Between the live classes, on-demand videos, book work, assigned practice work, and everything in between, it is not meant for anyone thinking that they're just gonna study a little here and there for the MCAT around their current college classes and then nail a grade score you really need to commit to this course. But then again, if you're serious about getting a top shelf MCAT score, this isn't the worst thing and you definitely get your money's worth. And I would just say that they have done a nice job of reeling in the coursework just a bit. When we originally took and reviewed the Prep 101 course, there were four live classes per week, all with assigned pre-work and post-work. 
So in a single day, you'd have to do homework from a physics class the day before, then attend a bio class, and then pre-read for the next day's OCHEM class. This was all four times per week. It was just a lot. But what I'll say here is that they have dialed it down a bit to just three days a week to make the course more manageable, and they've even switched to a flex class system where you can choose when to take the actual live class, morning, afternoon, or night. So that really helps as well. But I just don't want you to get me wrong. This is a highly intensive, comprehensive course that isn't for the faint of heart. All right, so my other knock here has to do with problem solutions. From the online portal, Prep 101 gives you about 200 or so on-demand videos of instructors solving problems from the AAMC question packs and AAMC section bank. These are here to help you review your post-class homework problems where you think you need it. However, while I like that Prep 101 gives you these supplemental problem solutions, which we used quite a bit, I will just say that they're just a little slow moving and tedious. Compared to the way your instructor solves problems during the guided practice sessions in class, they're just a little slower paced. Though to be fair, it does seem like Prep 101 is going through and refilming these solutions as I noticed that several were swapped out while taking this course and reviewing the program. So for now, it's an issue that did kind of bug us, but who knows, they might all be swapped out here within a year or so anyway. But anyway, that's about all I've really got for negatives on Prep 101. It's just those couple of things, the intensity level of this course and the supplemental on-demand prom solutions. Not too much bad to say. And I think that actually gets to the crux of who this course is best for. If you don't have a ton of time to study around work or class, or you're simply planning on stretching out some minimal studying to get a lower target score, you can probably find another course that would be a better fit for you. I would just envision a lot of friction with this course if you're not fully committed to spending a good chunk of time studying for the MCAT and aiming for a solid score. If, however, that is exactly what you're looking for, an intensive, comprehensive course that's gonna get you prepped for the MCAT in just a few short months, then I really like Prep 101. Between their live classes, solid instructors, awesome bundle of practice work, and overall teaching framework, I think there is a lot to like, especially at this value price point. And that's all I got for you. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a little something about Prep 101. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and dropping us a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written review of the Prep 101 course that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.